Mike check one two one two. YouTube family, did you miss me? All right, check this out, y'all. I'm Mr. DCYLP, and I have another, another dope, intricate video for y'all this evening, okay? Or morning, or wherever you are. All right, but you know what? Before I even get into that, check out my intro. y'all so now i know for a while i've been saying like i wanted to get back into some cut and sew so i could show you guys how that process is well today um i got my packaging uh from a designer that i found on instagram now i told y'all i keep telling y'all told y'all about that instagram game so as i get into this video there should be no reason why i have to Keep going over and over and over and over again. Yo, Mr. DCYLP, tell me who your manufacturer is. I told you I got multiple manufacturers, baby. I always find manufacturers. So I found this one on um, IG. And um, they're based out of Pakistan. So I had them, um, I had them make a bubble jacket. That I designed earlier in the year in the beginning of the quarantine. All right. So let's just unbox this thing real quick or, or in bag rather. Okay. All right. Now here's the bag. Here's the bag came via DHL. Okay. Let's just take out the packing slip. All right. Take the pack and put it out first. Okay. Now it says, it says the name of the company is Vivo International. I don't know if that's their name on IG. I can't remember. I would have to go into my IG. I leave it. I leave it in the description at the end of the vid at the end of the video. So it's Vivo International. Um, it's from um, Shaha. Bupura. No, I'm sorry. That's the that's the street name. Shaha Bupura Road. Okay, came from Sel Selkot, uh, Pakistan. All right. So let's open this bad boy up. Not much more to talk about on that pack and slip, y'all. All right. Now. Tear this thing open. They got it wrapped. They got it wrapped up like it's a kilo or something, man. Like, yo, they got it all wrapped up like Pablo Escobar, man. Package this bad boy up, man. Y'all working for El Chapo? So I'm gonna work on um y'all give me a minute. I'm gonna work on pulling this bag on tape off. Hopefully, no white powder drop out of this bad boy. Had the feds come knocking at my door. Cause we don't want that, baby. We don't want that. I only sell clothes, baby. I only sell clothes, trust me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. All right, let's just we're just gonna throw this somewhere. We don't we don't need that. All right. Let me move my microphone out of the way, y'all, so y'all can see this bad boy. Hold on. All right, y'all. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna break this down. We're gonna break this jacket down. See, we got the brown. At the top. Let's focus up. Okay. I'm trying to get y'all. Let's see, there's a zipper. Hold on. It's 
the YKK. It's the YKK gold zipper. Y'all see it? Lighting might be messing it up. All right, we got the YKK gold zipper. And while we at the top, there's my care label that I had them put on it. Just gonna zip it down all the way. There's my care label I had them put on it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't like this care label. That's not how I wanted it to come out. I didn't want I didn't want this white background in the back. I just wanted I just wanted the, the letters and whatnot to be white. Alright. So on the inside left chest, inside zipper pocket. It's nice and deep. I didn't put that in the original design, but they just threw that in there. Okay, the gold zipper yacht. I wanted that. I asked for, this is the bottom of the jacket. Let me turn it upside down. This is the bottom waist. I told them to put an elastic drawstring in there. They didn't add it in there, so they lied about that. Okay, they told me they was gonna do it, but they lied. All right. The pockets. Pockets feel nice, nice and deep. Same black uh, YKK zipper. So the, the zipper quality is okay. All right. Got the DCYOP um, embroidery stitching on the left chest. I can see some small flaws in there. Some flaws in the stitching. Okay. Now as far as The stitching in the jacket, not bad. Everything looks pretty, pretty clean. I told him to put, told him to put screen print DCYLP on the right uh, bottom of the sleeve. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than how, you know, I imagine it in my mind, and I know I gave them the measurements. I didn't want it that big, but the jacket looks—it looks okay. It's not—it's not too—it's not too—it's not, too, not 100% to my specifications. So that's another negative for them, and. You know, during the during the process, you know, there's one point where we were going back and forth in um in the DM and I'm asking them for pictures and they just kept sending me videos and videos and videos. So I got upset. I'm like, listen, I don't wanna see no videos, man. I wanna see pictures, cause pictures is how you, you know, you get to see if everything's coming out the way you wanted it, the way you designed it. So that should have been a sign right there that they was acting up. So they sent me a few pictures. The pictures look cool. They looked all right. And everything I was telling them, I'm like, listen, it looks like it's missing a few things. It's missing my elastics, you know, um, on the waistband. And they're like, well, uh, yeah, we're going to add that. We'll add that. I promise we'll add that. And then um, I'm like, listen, where's my leather patch that's supposed to be on the um on the left sleeve? There's supposed to be a, a leather circular uh, DCYOP patch on the left sleeve and they go well you know when you place your bulk order you know we'll do it then and um also i asked for 
I wanted 700 down. I wanted this to be 700 goose down, a goose down jacket. If you know anything about goose le uh, goose feathers, you know, there's a grading system, okay? And I could just feel this jacket and tell there ain't no feathers in this joint. All right, ain't no feathers in this. All right, y'all. Now, color-wise, it's okay. But standards-wise, nah. This particular jacket right here ain't up to my standards, baby. This is not what I imagined when I was designing this jacket and I wanted to get it made. And I was kind of feeling that way, too, when they were showing me those videos. Because stuff wasn't looking right. I'm like, I don't know about that. Okay? So let me try this bad boy on. I ordered it in an XL. All right? They told me it was an XL uh, American size. So let me see what's going on here. Might be a little tight because I gained a little weight, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Nah. Nah. Nah, this ain't going to do it, baby. This ain't going to do it. It's extra tight, way too small. Even beyond me gaining weight, it should not feel like this. It's not up to standard. I can't even. Even if I, if, even if I suck my gut in, I couldn't. I couldn't zip this thing up if I wanted to. Okay, so that's another strike against that. And the funny thing is, they DM me today and asked me if I got the jacket, and I wasn't home yet. Now this bad boy's so tight. So tight, yo, I can I'm trying to get my uh, I'm trying to get my hand out. Yeah. Now, nah, this ain't it, y'all. So I wouldn't suggest that y'all ever I mean ever use this manufacturer. Right, I'm gonna try to get up out of this jacket, y'all. But yeah, this ain't this ain't it. I'm highly disappointed. And they tried to go back and forth with me and the DMs talking about some because I'm asking them so many questions like, oh, we're doing you a favor. You know, normally we charge 300 to make the sample. We only charge you 85. Yeah, you charge me 85 for this BS now. I told them in the DM too. Don't try to play me. Don't try to make it seem like you doing me no favors, baby. Because if it costs 300 I'm going to pay that 300 All right? There's, there's a couple things I'm serious about. I'm serious about my paper, and I'm serious about my brand. I'm serious about my clothing. So don't play with my brand. All right? If I got to pay the three, I'm going to pay the three. Okay? It's an investment at the end of the day. I'll write this off on my taxes. That's how this game works. But if it's nice, I'm going to order in bulk. But since this ain't nice, since this ain't up to my standards, we won't be doing no more business with them. Okay? They're going to send me this garbage, man. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go upstairs. You know, in the lab. I'm just gonna carry on with my day. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna make these uh, these orders that you know my customers requested for the holidays, and I'm gonna get back in good spirits. But you know what? When I'm done doing my other business, I'm gonna contact them and I'm gonna tell them that this jacket they made me is garbage. All right. Now, make sure you guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you guys won't miss it. Hey, y'all, at this very, very moment, I'm at 493 subscribers. I knew that I was going to make it to 500 before 2021, and it looks like we're going to make it, baby. So y'all keep spreading that word. I'm sorry, man, I ain't have nothing positive to say about this, this bubble jacket that I wanted so much to be great. But it's just not great, y'all. 
but I will still leave their name and information in the bottom of the video. And if you really want to try them, that's on you. All right? Like I always say, choose your own path. Skid it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.